Hi guys, it's Kim from Night Owl Nursery, and um, I was just sitting here working on a little project. I guess y'all can see all my sprinkles and um, colored sugars and um, Easy Rider food color pens and marshmallows and a one pouty looking child. That's one thing I can't handle is a pouty looking child. And mine is being so pouty right now. Look at her. She's got her arms folded and her head down. Looks like somebody needs to go take a nap. And do y'all want to guess why she's upset? <clears throat> well, I came in here to do a project. And because... I won't turn her loose with the food coloring. And I guess for a little one, it's hard to understand that food coloring stains your hands and your clothes and gets everywhere and makes a mess. But I was just trying to do a fun project with her. So I hope she straightens up. It sure would be bad not to get to have any of our project and have to go to bed now, wouldn't it? To go to nappy time? Hmm. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, while you're thinking about that, I'm going to show everybody what we're doing. And this is the project that we're doing. It's little clown marshmallows. Aren't they just so cute? I've, I've got to put hair on that one, but I was going to show y'all how to do it. So I waited about that one. And that one's got little sprinkle hair. But aren't they so cute? I saw them in a picture and I was like, oh yeah, I've got to do those. So, um, if anybody wants to try them theirself, I was thinking, you know, if anybody wanted to do little ghost for Halloween, that would be cute since they're white, of course, and do little, you know, spooky faces on them or something for a little treat. Um, and I think they may make orange ones, orange marshmallows, and that would be adorable to do pumpkins. Um, and, you know, some of y'all may have already seen this little idea, I don't know, but I thought it was so adorable. And I've had the stuff and been waiting on the opportunity to do it. So, since I don't have much to do but sit around, I just um, thought it'd be a good time to try it. So, I'll show you what you need. Of course, you need a bag of marshmallows, the big kind, and then uh, the sugared sprinkles. And I already had several of these already. I think the only one I got the other night was the red. I didn't have any red. Um, but um, And then, um, I know this kind wasn't pictured, but I thought that would be cute. All the different colors and it having texture, you know, that would stick up actually like hair so so it turned out pretty cute with a little hair but um and i got a pack of these uh -oh. um the betty crocker easy rider food um it's blurry i'm sorry i can't read it um food decorators can't read it through the camera and you get a red green a yellow and a blue and i picked these up at walmart and um, they have an applicator tip on them. And let me take the top off and show you one. And see, it looks like a marker tip. But it's really, really, uh, it's surprisingly soft. It's like real, like a paintbrush texture. It, it's real, real, you know, easy to move. It's not stiff like a regular marker. So. When you get started, you'll if you ever use them, you'll see what I'm talking about. It was kind of surprising, but um, and then to do my black outline, since there wasn't a black pen, um, I had some um, black icing dye, and then I just took a toothpick and dipped it in the lid to draw, um, you know, the eyes and mouth and like the little shadows on the nose and stuff. And then I just have um, a little bit of water in this lid. And of course I washed my hands. And um, so then all you do is once you draw the, draw the face on, and then just take and um, dip your finger in the water 
and just go over the, the marshmallow, wet it really good. You don't want it like dripping off the sides or nothing, but just, you know, wet it pretty generously. And then, I don't know, I got blue in my orange. So I was going to do orange because with Halloween coming, I don't know how I got that blue in there. Um, that that would be kind of cute, the orange for Halloween. So. But anyway, and then just, um, of course, pick it up. Oh, I just got it on my finger. That black. I'll have it smeared everywhere. And um, just hold it like this. And then just dip him and kind of go the, around the edges. And just make sure it's covered. And there you have your little clown with orange hair. Isn't it so cute? But anyway, that was kind of our little project for the day. And, um, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And, um, it's really simple and fun to do. And, um, I know my nieces and nephews would love them. I was saying earlier, I wish Emma was here because she loves marshmallows. She calls them smashmallows. And so she would love these. So I'm going to have to make some more for her. Um, so next time I, I see her or if they're coming... Um, or maybe if we go camping, I could um, take the supplies, and that would be a project that we could do. So, but anyway, but I was just going to show you guys, <clears throat> and I'm going to slide these out of the way, and we'll see if Miss Chloe's ready to straighten up over here and act right. Well, you about ready to straighten up? Hmm? You're not, it don't look like it. Let's see. Look here. That's not being nice, being pouty. No, that's not being nice. So mommy's got to get me a long sleeve shirt, her top, to go with my little overalls. She's got her little shoes on, and she's still got her little overalls. And um, but I haven't been able to go to the store to get her a new top, so I got to get her something long sleeve. Maybe she's not too cool. Um. But anyway, so, are you feeling better now? Huh? You feeling better? Yeah, okay, we're good. All right. <clears throat> well, sometimes we, when we're little, we think we can handle big things, big girl things, but sometimes we're not ready for them just yet. Look, Mommy got it on her thumb. Look, so I got black on my thumb. Look at there. Ooh. And if I hadn't have wiped it off, I would have smeared it on my clothes or your clothes or on your little arm or hand, and we would have had a mess. So I have to be really, really careful with food color, and they make lots of messes. And so Mommy knew that it was going to be something that is really not kid-friendly because it's really going to be messy. So Mommy had to do them. But you got to sit here with me, okay? Well, all right. Well, she's looking like she's going to quit pouting now, so maybe she don't have to go take a nap just yet. And, um, so anyway, guys, but, well, I hope y'all are all having a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed our little, um, little project here of the little clowns. And I guess we'll talk to you guys later. Love and blessings. Bye-bye.